Hi guys, welcome to this session in Google Sheets. What I want to cover in this module is how the VStack function works. So on the screen I've got an example of two sets of data that I want to combine into one list. So I can use the VStack function to do that. I've also got data on different sheets. If I click on Steve, there's Steve's data, Dave, Anne, and I want to use the, the V stack company to bring that into one list on here as well so let's do these two lists first so the formula is equals v stack and then it's asking for the first range so the first range is this orange area then you need to do a comma and select the second range and then just press enter on that and it will drop that list in and you can see there look it's gone the 15th and then to the first so it's actually just added those two lists together. Now to do it across sheets, you need to do this. First of all, I'll grab one of the titles. So we've got some headings. I'll just grab the titles on this one. So it's the same because the information is going to be the same. So I'll just copy that and paste it onto this company one. So we have that information there. Then underneath that, I'm going to type equals V stack, open the bracket. Now I've got to go get range one. So range one, now that's sitting in the way at the minute, so I'm going to have to go from bottom up, but I don't want to pick up the, um, the actual titles. Same process, comma, go on to the second sheet. I'm on to Dave, and the highlight up from Dave. Again, don't grab the titles, because you've already got the titles. And then last one, Anne. If I grab that, come across, and then press enter on that one, and then that should join all those together in one list. Now you can also use names. If you wanted a space between these, you could use names. This is an array formula. If I click below that, you don't see the formula. And if I try to delete it, it's not letting me delete anything because this is all part of this top array formula. If I want to delete this, I would have to delete the top one, which I'm just gonna do and then everything disappears. So another way of doing that would be to name this range. If I just name this area test, test one, enter, then Dave's can be, you could have used a name, I suppose. If I name this area for Dave, call it test two, test two, enter, you've got to press enter. And then for Anne, highlight the data for Anne and call it test three enter i should have kept a blank line at the bottom there forgot to do that but never mind if i highlight it with a blank line there would be a line space that's what i was trying to do but now i can do equals v stack test one comma test two comma test three enter and i get the same result it just brings that in now if i and I'd give myself a bit more space. I'll call this just call this test just to show you how it, how it would work. If I just grab a bit of extra lines at the bottom, so a gap there, call this just test, enter, and then change the formula in the this one. And you have to do it on the top one, like I said before. So instead of test one, I'm just going to get rid of that one and then press, press enter on this, see what happens. So it's picking up that gap. So if you wanted a line gap between each of these sets of data, you could do that. But basically, the VStack function will bring the information together, like I've just shown you, either across sheets or if it's in the same sheet like this one, where you could just highlight the range. I could have named that range as well. If you want extra lines, that's what you need to do. This is going to allow me to add extra things in there, like if Steve does another... record if I just sort of highlight this and bring it down one more so that's gone to the 1st of August so in the company sheet that's picked that up so it's depends it depends how you want to do this whether you just want to bring it in for one particular reason and then you're going to do a pivot table on it maybe but it's quite a useful function to know about um, whichever way you're going to use it so that's all I want to talk about in this little video how to use the VStack function in Google Sheets so thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.